Start by cutting out the tiara pattern. If you've done the bracers, then you probably already have this template downloaded. If not, you can download it for free at thewoodlandelf.com slash pattern slash wonderwoman. At this point, you're only cutting the outside line of the pattern. Once you've got the pattern cut, you're just going to trace that onto a piece of talon, and then carefully cut it out. So then you'll get yourself some of the same silver material you use for the bracers. Again, I found this at Joanne Fabrics. You'll just lay it with the shiny side down, hot glue your pellon to it, then carefully cut out around it, leaving a quarter inch overlap all the way around. And then of course you'll just hot glue the overlap down on the back side of the tiara. Then go back to the template and cut along the inner line of your tiara pattern, all the way around. Then trace it onto a piece of pellon and cut it out just like before. So this time you're going to use gold shiny fabric, and you're just going to take the piece of pellon you cut out, hot glue it to the back side of the gold fabric, and cut it out leaving the quarter inch out round for hot gluing just like before. And so here's the gold and the silver, and the gold should fit right over the top of the silver with just a little bit of out round of silver underneath. So next take a gold or silver star stud, and you're just going to push that right through the gold layer of the tiara, and then hot glue the gold and silver layers together. So then you'll drill two holes in the tiara. So take a sharp object, and just poke the holes right through. Then you're going to take a scrapbooking bread, push that through the holes, and then spread the tails out on the back side. Next you'll drill a hole in the back end of each side of the tiara, and then you'll just run a piece of thin elastic through each hole and tie it off. And so here's the finished tiara and the elastic will hold it on your head. So for the boots, I found an old pair of secondhand riding boots that were red. Then I took my gold fabric and I cut a strip with a raised center point. Now the way you do that is you just fold your material in half and cut a curve on the top and the bottom and then you just unfold it and you have your strip. So then you'll take your hot glue gun and you're just going to hot glue the edges about a quarter of an inch all the way around the strip. Then just take yourself a gold star stud, push it right through the center of the strip, and then bend down the feet on the back side. Then take your red boots and just hot glue the gold strip right around the top edge, making sure the center point is higher than the boot tops. And so here are the finished boots. You can also do some plain gold strips down the front center of the boots if you want, but I chose not to. So moving into the belt, cut out all the belt pieces of the template, and the dotted lines are there to show where the pieces will eventually overlap. And so then once again, you'll just trace all the pieces onto pellon and cut them out, glue the pellon to the sparkly fabric, and then cut out the sparkly fabric, leaving the quarter of an inch overlap. Hot glue onto the back side, just like the bracers in the tiara. Here are the pieces once they've been covered in the sparkly fabric. The biggest piece is silver, and all the other pieces are done out of gold, and then you'll just end up hot gluing them together in the order that I'm stacking them here. So then you're going to drill a hole in the lower outside corner of each of the top three pieces of the belt front, and then slide a bread into each of the holes. So then cut yourself a strip of pellon two inches wide and long enough to go around three quarters of your waist, and then you'll fill up the rest of the waist length with little squares two inches long and two inches wide. Then take your silver material and you'll cover the long strip and the little squares with that, once again leaving the quarter inch to hot glue over the edge. So here are my silver colored squares. Then you're going to take the belt front, and you're going to loosen the top two brads, and then you'll push one of your silver squares against those to get the indentations, and then just poke holes where those indentations are. Then just slide the two brads on the top of the belt front through those two holes, and spread the points out on the back. And so you'll do that to both sides, and then you're just going to poke holes in each of the sides of those. And then just push a scrapbooking brad through each of those holes, Press it onto your next square to get the indentations. Poke holes through each of those indentations. And then slide that right over the scrapbooking brads, through the holes, and spread the tails out on the back side. And then you'll just poke holes in the end of that, and of course you'll just keep going until you get enough to cover the front quarter of your waist. So you should have this. And so then you're just going to take the long silver strip that you made before, and you're just going to attach that to the sides of the squares the same way by drilling the holes and putting in the brads. And so here's the bell all put together. What you want to do is just fold it so that you find the center of the back, cut that right down the center, and you'll just sew a snap to the top of one side and the corresponding snap to the bottom of the other side and snap them together. It'll allow you to easily put the belt on and off. So for the gold eagle, you're going to start by cutting out the very outside lines of both pieces of the eagle. And then you'll just tape those two pieces together. Then lay the eagle on a piece of pellon, and you're just going to trace from the dotted line up around the wing to the bottom of the dotted line. And then just fold the eagle up, and trace along that line. And carefully cut your wing out of the pellon. 
And you'll do the same thing on the other side, tracing from the dotted line all the way up around the wing to the bottom of the dotted line. Then fold that over and draw the bottom of it. So then you should have two wings, and then you'll do the middle. Tracing from the dotted line up around the head, back down to the other dotted line, and then on the bottom dotted line, tracing the bottom of the bird. And then fold the wings over, and you'll just draw the side lines. And then cut out the bird body. Then what you do is hot glue the wings to the body so that they stick upright. And you do that to both wings, and you should end up with this. So then take your silver fabric and lay your paper bird template out across it, and then you'll just cut it out, leaving the quarter inch out round for hot gluing. So then you're just going to hot glue that right over the pelon wings. So then going back to the paper template, you're just going to cut out all the interior pieces. You should end up with this. So then you want to cut one of each of the middle pieces and two of the wing pieces. So then just lay your pieces on the pelon, trace them, and cut them all out. And you should end up with this. So then of course you just put all the pelon pieces on gold fabric and cut out around them leaving the quarter of an inch out round for hot gluing. So then you just hot glue those gold pieces right onto the silver part of the bird. So at this point your bird should look like this. And then what you're going to do is drill holes at points along the gold and silver and put scrapbooking brads in them. So once again, drill your holes, and then just slide in a scrapbooking bread, and spread the tails out on the back side. And so here's a close-up so you can see where all the scrapbooking breads go. And then once you've got all the breads in, you're just going to set the eagle aside, and we'll be attaching that to the red corset in part three of the tutorial.